Today I want to show you a super easy activity that you can do at home with supplies that you probably already have in your craft closet or craft drawer or craft room. So all you really need for this project is paper, preferably white paper um, or a light colored paper, and crayons. You're definitely going to need a black crayon, but hold off on that for now. Don't worry about it. You can pick whatever colors you want for your crayons. I chose these colors. They remind me of a unicorn. I call them unicorn colors. Blues, purples, pinks. The only thing missing is glitter. Uh, rainbows are also very unicorn-esque, but you do you. You pick whatever colors you want. So you need crayons paper, and some kind of tool for your actual scratching of the scratcher. But we'll get to that a little bit later. So, as you can see, I already colored my white sheet of paper. So what you're going to want to do now is take your black and cover as much as you want of the, of the bright colors. So we'll start up here, press hard, press hard for your bright colors, press hard with your black crayon too, because that will make your scratch art pop. It can be very, very, very vibrant, which is good. So here we go. do like Harry Potter colors if you are a certain Harry Potter house or if you're like me and you are really missing sports right now maybe you want to do Chicago Bears colors like a nice orange and blue or go Cubs go red white and blue whatever your fandom no judgment if you're a Packers fan You really don't have to worry about coloring the edges black, like right here. We can always trim that up with a pair of scissors. Or maybe, maybe you want to use like your, your mom or your dad's favorite colors. Make a little present for them. I bet they would really like that. It is natural for your hand to get a little bit tired, but that's okay. We have all the time in the world. Oh, I know what would be a really cool idea. This could be a book cover of a book entirely illustrated out of scratch art. Make your own book. For example, since these are unicorn colors, I can make a book about a unicorn. Maybe I would call it the very whimsical, magical, happy unicorn. In parentheses, hanging out. Because she's hanging out in her apartment because she can't go anywhere right now. Sounds like a book about my life. But that's okay. It'll be, each page could be different scratch art, like maybe the unicorn's figuring out new recipes in her kitchen. Maybe the unicorn, there could be a scratch art picture of the unicorn painting her nails. Did you know unicorns paint their nails? I mean, I do, and I think I'm part unicorn secretly. A little bit more, a little bit more, we're getting there. You know, it might be a little shocking and sad at first to see all of the, your beautiful bright colors getting covered in black. That's alright. There will be a payoff. 
I'm sure you're trusting me right now. Maybe we've even done this before. I could even make a bookmark. Good enough. So for your scratching tool, you could use anything with a sharp edge, not like super sharp or anything, not like scissors, but you know, like a toothpick, it's got a nice point, or a bobby pin, just an opened up bobby pin. It's already open because I use it for a dotting tool with nail art, so we'll just use the bobby pin, but you can use like a pencil, that works too. So I think we're going to make a book cover for my unicorn book. Do whatever you want. Choose your own art venture. So, we're going to do a side profile of a unicorn. And you're just kind of using your bobby pin or your toothpick or your pencil, holding it kind of like you would a pencil. Press hard. All right, there's the outline of her face. Let's give her an eye. Uh -huh. Oh, she's got like a pink blue eye. That's pretty. Let's give her some lashes. Elegant. Let's give her a unicorn nostril here. A nice big smile. These unicorns are 112% happy. Uh, the horn, duh. Let's give her another nostril. Why not? Give her a mane. You can give your scratch art, if you're doing a unicorn, any kind of hairstyle. You could do a braid, side pony, jojo bow. But we'll just keep this unicorn with like kind of natural waves today. What she's feeling. But again, you could you could do like a small book, like make a ten page book of something with entirely illustrated pages of scratch art. I kind of like it. And that's how you do scratch art. All ages, easy. Things that you can find just laying around your house. That's how it's done. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.